<laughs> Hi guys, it's Holly from Vertmill, and this week and next week, I'm also going to do something a little bit different. There's an ongoing war, battle, argument, fight of the best tank. Now, the three devices in this is the U World Crown, the Mesh Pro, and the Falcon King. So I've got all three. And over the next week, I'm going to give some vigorous testing. I'm going to test the vape production, the dry hit reduction, maybe. Uh, vape production, dry hits, leakability, testing, everything. I'm going to get as much testing as I can in as many extreme ways as possible. So don't forget to keep tuned. So here we've got the Freemax Mesh Pro, we've got the Horizon Tech Falcon King and we've got the U-Well Crown 4. If you see the Crown and the Mesh Pro of the exact same type of boxing, not the same shape or size. They've both got the lips so you can grab the box and pull out, which I quite like. But the bit pretty much the same, the only difference between them is in the Horizon Tech. Now the Horizon Tech is very compact in design. Very lightweight, easy to carry, and an adaption from the Valerian. It actually the top actually stays on, even without the stiller tape. So for this round, I'm giving the extra point to the Rising Falcon King purely just for the innovation of it. Really, as you can see, the Mesh Pro's got seven O's. It comes separate with a free bubble glass. That's a six mil bubble glass. Got a spare coil and the manual. The Falcon's got another seven spare rubbers, spare coil, bullet glass, which I believe is 5.5, spare coil, tank. And it also doubles up as a tank stand. You're probably going to say it's not designed for, it's designed for packaging, but it does work as a tank stand as well. The Crown has got four spare rows, user manual, warranty card. Spare coil, spare glass, although it's not a bubble glass, it's also got a cap, a drip tip cap, to protect from any dust and exposure, sand or whatever. So for this round, I'm going to give the U World Crown one point for the drip tip cap. First, the U World Crown. The coils work on a push mechanism. If you have any nails, you could quite easily pop it out. Put it back in, screw the bottom on to fill it up. It's a quarter turn and it pops off. It's for locking mechanism. And the airflow is traditional on the bottom. Falcon King, to fill it up, press the button. To change the coils, you have to unscrew it. Take the coil out, put a new coil in. Freemax is a slide. And yet again, to change your coil, you have to screw it off and change your coil. For this, I'm going to appoint one point to the Falcon King for its filling mechanism. And I'm also going to appoint one point to the U World Crown for its changing coil system. To make the way in fair, we're going to do it without the bubble glasses. So that's the Falcon King, 70 grams. The U World Crown, 63, and the Mesh Pro, 88. So the Mesh Pro is massively heavier without the bubble glass. So the U World Crown gets one extra point for being ultra light. And then just for sake of information, we'll do it again with the bubble glasses. The Falcon King is now 73. The Mesh Pro is now 88. So one point for the U World Crown for being the lightest on a standard TPD. So the Falcon King comes in 10 colours. The Mesh Pro comes in 17 colours including the resin, carbon and metal. And the Crown comes in 6 colours. So I'm going to give the Mesh Pro another point for that. And then on to coils. 
The Mesh Pro, you can use a Fire Luke and a Fire Luke Pro coils, which means it has a collection of 12 different coils you can use on it. The Falcon King comes with 8 different coils you can use with it. And then the Crown all the way at the back has 3 different coils you can use on it. I'm not going to try every coil because that would just take me forever and I ain't got the patience or time. But I am going to give 2 points to the Mesh Pro, 1 like I just mentioned for the colours and also one for the variation of coils. There is also one more point I'm going to give to the Mesh Pro because on three different websites that I've checked the Mesh Pro works out to be £5 cheaper in comparison to the other two tanks. So in regards to colour, coils and price the Mesh Pro has just gained three points. So, off with the boring stuff, let's go on to the fun stuff. Let's do this! Hi guys, we're just starting our very first, uh, well actually we're also streaming on uh, Instagram, we've got his camera outside, we've got his Instagram camera via, uh, live, but this is the next part, we're doing the free max comparison, 20 drags, see how fast we can clear the car out, uh, whichever tank does it fastest or most dense in 20 drags wins, if the tank burns dry it's disqualified, it's a bit of fun. But a good way of testing the vapor production and everything else. So you ready, Kev? Yeah. Uh, the Free Max Cot Mesh Pro coil we're using is the Double Mesh 0.2. We're firing at 80 watts because all the other coils we're using are for 80 watts. I can see that my uh, arm's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. Ready? ready. Three, two, one, go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, Jesus. ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well guys, I, I don't think you can see me, but that's the vapor production off the Freemax Mesh Pro with 20 drags. Open all the doors, let some air out so we can see each other again. I can't even see the door handle. So, Mesh Pro, we're going to let the car air out a bit, let all the uh, vape get out, and then as soon as there's practically no vape in the car, we're going to start with the UL Crown. Hey guys, we just did the Freemax as you saw. They weren't very much uh, heat that resonated in the tank, it was quite a good conductor, there were no dry hits. You know, the next one we're doing is the U-Ball Crown. Ready Kev? Yeah. 80 watts, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Over the doors, let's mirror out. As you can see, guys, there's not as much vapor in here as there were for the Freemax. So, so far, between the UL and the Freemax Mesh Pro, 
the uh, Free Max is winning. I don't know about you, Kev, but I also think the uh, Free Max handled the heat better as well. I think the UL got a lot warmer. Yeah. Um, and and the, the I think the Free Max seemed to hold the flavour better as well. I think. The, I thought the flavour was better than the Crown. No, well, that's that's exactly why we use two people because Kev thought the flavour was better than the Crown. But I think Free Max seemed to hold the flavour a little bit better. So so far, the Mesh uh, Mesh Pro has been the best, the best flavour of production. I think the you will crown weren't as good as Free Max for maintaining flavour, but Kev disagrees. The next one is the Falcon. This is the do 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 M Jewel, which is firing at 80 watts. I think it goes higher than 80 watts, but uh, for the fairness, we're using 80 watts. Ready, Kev? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ugh. Right. As you can see guys, that's probably is either that or the Free Max Mesh Pro that's in that open doors little the air out. <coughs> so there you go guys, it's either the Free Max or the Mesh Pro. Yeah, Free Max Mesh Pro or the Falcon King for the flavour production. Uh Kev I think that they were both they're all pretty much the same on flavour uh Maintaining, weren't it? None of them really yeah. lost any flavour. I think the Falcon was slightly better on flavour. <laughs> yeah, probably the Falcon wins it, but we're doing flavour separate. I think they all maintained pretty well. None of them really did a dry it, although the Freemax felt a bit dry at times. It weren't actually a dry it. So we've got the Mesh Pro. Mmm, mm. that was quite nice. Smooth that is, isn't it? Mm. Uh, I've got the crown now. Let's try this one. That one's different again. Definitely get more flavour from that one, I think. Mesh Pro. Yeah. That one makes a lot of noise as well. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
It's like a tug on the airplane. Less vape. Love the smooth one that is as well. Okay, so we've got the Falcon. That was a bit different. I like the look of this one though. <laughs> Time to wake up. I feel like it's between that one and that one in terms of flavour. A lot more flavour on that. More restrict on the airplane. Really hard to choose between all three of them to be fair. I think the Mesh Pro is a better flavour for me. So out of the three, I'm going for the first one. The Mesh Pro. The Mesh Pro. Definitely. Mesh Pro then. It's got to be. In my opinion, the Mesh Pro has got better airflow, better flavour and a lot more vape. So, I like it. I would say either that one or that one. The Mesh Pro. Yeah, it's one, one of them two. Yeah. This one's just as good either. If I was going to buy one, I'd probably buy that one. Mesh Pro. Due to its look as well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go guys thanks for watching i really hope you enjoyed it to round it up all three tanks got three points three points for the falcon king three points for the u world crown and three points for the mesh pro because the falcon and the mesh pro got one point for production and also the mesh pro would have won if it wasn't for top leaking and that lost two my favourite out of the three is the Falcon King easily. I think the flavour and the productions there, the, the air holes, everything's brilliant on it. It don't leak, and it, it's just the bomb. In my eyes, the second close one is a Mesh Pro. Apart from, I'm sorry, you can't do it because it really does come open very easily in your pocket. So I suppose if you've got a desk job and it's always in your hand or sat upright, then it's decent. If not, it does leak a lot. And the UL Crown, obviously it's a decent competitor because it's got the same points as the other two. But in my eyes, I'm sorry, it ain't got the vapor, vapor production. It gets a little bit warm when you're using it a lot. It's just not all that good for me. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I've pre-recorded all this, so I can't announce the winner of the smock. However, I will put it in the description below, so scroll down to have a look. I'll also comment on the winning comment to let you know. I am now going to give the free max and the U well away. I've already promised somebody the Mesh Pro, but the other two are going for giveaway. So, you know what to do, read the terms and conditions below and comment below for a chance of winning. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share it. Thumbs up, all that malarkey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, stay cloudy!